Hi, and welcome to this quick start training video for the virtual cart. So essentially this could be a cart that would be manually filled where you can send it to your consumer for them to complete on their own device. So this would be outside of the standard e-commerce transaction. So you wanna go ahead and log in, username and password, then your um, dashboard should look something like this for an e-commerce merchant. This is gonna be different from a brick and mortar merchant, but for an e-commerce merchant, this is your dashboard. So in there, you'll see show applications and new cart. You're gonna click the new cart. So this is again, the new virtual cart. You're gonna fill in all the pertinent information for the consumer, email, phone, mobile phone again, um, reference ID, order ID. This could be any, any, uh, unique identifier for this order. It can be an order number, or a reference number, um, anything you want to identify. Um, this is mandatory. Post back URL, this is going to be where you would want us to post back when the order is complete. So if there's a part of your e-commerce um, back office where you'd like for us to uh, shoot back and say, hey, this is complete, you can put that URL in there. It's not, it's not mandatory. Redirect URL, this is where you want us to go after the order is complete, maybe back to your homepage or back to the product page or wherever it is you want to send the consumer back to. Um, cancel order URL, this is if the consumer cancels out, generally you want to send them back to your website. So um, those three URLs can be filled out. Product description, um, put anything in here. This is uh, fairly straightforward information, quantity and price. As marks. So there it is. If you got tax, you got shipping and whatever it may be. Um, very simply, shoot it to your customer and then they can complete it. Once it's come, uh, shot to the customer, you're gonna see the order back in your, um, in your uh, dashboard, in your uh, merchant list, a list of uh, applications. So there's your app ID, that's that order ID, that's where I said you can put any ID in there that you would like, consumer's name, pertinent information. You can edit this while it's pending still, if you decide you want to add some more information or more product to it, you can certainly do that. Hit the add button and then resend it to the consumer again. Your customer is going to receive an email. The email is going to look similar to this. So it was going to say, hey, you know, Tony, your customer, Lisa and Deals, which is the name of the test merchant we were using, and sent you an order. And in there is going to be the description of what it is. Um, if they have any questions about it, they certainly can call us or you. Uh, and then they're going to click here to finalize their purchase. They're going to click on this, and up is going to come um, some information your consumer is going to have to put in. Last four, date of birth, mobile phone, which is our, should already be in there. They're going to put their driver's license number, state, and then they agree to the uh, privacy terms and conditions, and then they hit continue. Once they hit continue, then they'll go through the process, application process, um, from start to finish, it's fairly simple. Um, once that's complete, it'll go back into your, um, you'll see it back into your uh, back office under the list of applications, and hopefully it'll show you that they are complete. And so you have to go back and log back in. And obviously this one's not going to be complete, but it actually shows cancel because I hit that X button and canceled it out. So if that consumer would want that application again, you'd have to start a new cart and shoot that to them. All right. Thank you. If you have any questions, uh, give your account rep a call and we'll be happy to walk you through it. It's very simple. Thank you.